the sexual the revolution, revolution, revolution is being is podcast. Being podcast. The whole thing is you seem like you come from the nice guy school of, of thought, mm-hmm. which is like you always sure. have to be polite, always be gentle. And I do too. I am. I you have to be polite to people who are impolite, right. selfish, and right. and dickheads. Yeah. Oh, and I'm not. I'm not that. I mean, you like are. If someone, if someone you are. pushes back on me, I'm like, all right, you, you can go fuck no, yourself. You, you, and you, you can give go. a leeway. Yeah, you, you, you will push back. I give back. a lot of leeway. That's you will the push back. And then you get You mad. will push back, but yeah. you will push back at stage five. Unfortunately. When you should push back at stage. Now, I've learned two. to do it at stage one. No, no yeah. two. One, if you're sensing <laughs> something is wrong. Stay, and again, stage one is not the first thing that is an inconvenience. It's more, is this person being unreasonable? Yeah. And that's when you go... There's something wrong here. I'm gonna pull the plug. Oh, do, I need to tell, do I need to tell the pussy soap story again? If you First want all, to, the I, fuck enjoy, out. <laughs> I enjoy. I always enjoy the pussy soap story. I was, it's a pussy, so I was, I was dating a girl, and she came. She came in. She came to my house, and then she had a. Uh, she had like her feminine wash, like Summer's Eve or whatever. Fuck Which you refer to she as pussy soap? It it's pussy soap. She, yeah, she. she They've been going out. It wasn't. We've been going out. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah it so wasn't she takes like a the pussy date. soap and she puts it in my in my linen closet in the middle. Boom! Right. <laughs> How long had you guys been dating? It doesn't matter. Yeah, she sure felt comfortable enough to. It damn. wasn't. It wasn't one date, and it wasn't five. And like it was more than that. Okay. It was like she was hanging out in my house. Okay. So. So she puts the pussy soap in my linen closet and she puts it right in the center. Now I've I've seen this a thousand times, this marking your territory. I didn't even pay it any mind because it's just whatever. So I went you in my You felt it was intentional. I it knew was it was intentional, yes. but I'm I moved it to get to something else in the cabinet. Because she did put it front and center. And put so it right in no the center. Choice. Right. Reminding you every so time. She put it, it in the front and center as if she was shooting a commercial for Right, for a summer's eve. Right. right? So so she she comes to my house and she, she goes in the bathroom, I guess to check the summer's eve. And she comes in and she goes, What bitch was you fucking? And because <laughs> you moved it. And I go first of all, mm-hmm. get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> Not what do you mean? Not, what are you talking about? No, I wasn't fuck fucking it. Get the fuck out of my house. You don't pay nothing here. You don't belong here. Yeah. I will, and I said, everything else that you have in this house, pack it up, put it in a garbage bag, and take all the shit with you. Because I'm a problem solver. So if you think that you're going to, because we, I knew what this was in the first place. Yeah. But now, here you go. Now we're going to go further. We're going to go, you take every fucking bobby pin, mm-hmm. <laughs> everything that you have here. I want it out of here. Whatever you want to bring here, you can bring here when you want to bring it. Make sure you take it home with you. Now you don't have any say-so about what goes in my closet. Now you could have just chilled, but you didn't want to chill. So now, I'm, and if you don't want to come back, don't ever come back. Because this is somebody who is trying to institute control over you with, simply because she thinks she can. Yeah. Because I'm being kind and I'm allowing, I'm, I'm being accommodating. But if, you're, if I'm being accommodating and you don't appreciate it, then you don't get accommodating. You mm-hmm. get the opposite. And here's the, here's the thing about that. Understanding what your value is and what you're willing to put up with and whatnot, women respect that. They respect it in you that the fact that your happiness is important to you. Because if your happiness is not important to you, why would it be important to her?